welcome back to this video tutorial we can discuss about this diagonal sum of a given matrix okay so for finding the diagonal sum of a given matrix we need to check whether the given matrix is a square matrix or not Square matrix means if the row size equal to column size of a given matrix then we can we can say that that given matrix is a square matrix okay this uh, number of rows equal to number of columns then the given matrix become a square matrix so the diagonal sum is valid with only square matrices so here it is a matrix a with row size equal to 3 and column size equal to 3 both are equal so the given matrix is a square matrix now we can calculate the diagonal sum here because the diagonal exists here uh, for this given matrix a because this is a square matrix okay so here we have two types of diagonal one is the forward diagonal another is the backward diagonal okay we, uh, we have to find the diagonal sum both for the forward diagonal and for the backward diagonal. So first we can consider this case. We need to find the sum of elements present in this forward diagonal. Okay. So how to find? For finding such a sum, we need to check first the property of the indices of this diagonal elements. So, here the diagonal forward diagonal elements of this given matrix are 1, 5 and this 9. Right. And the indices are 0, 0 is the index for the value 1, 1, 1 for the index for value 5 and this 2, 2 for the value 2, 2 as the index for the value 9. Is there any property for this particular indices while comparing with other non-diagonal elements of this matrix? Is there any property? So it is very clear that for these diagonal elements, for these forward diagonal elements, the row index become equal to the column index. This is not valid for any other non-diagonal elements of our matrix. Okay, so using this property, we can find the sum of forward diagonal elements of a matrix see, easily. Okay, now we can check the program. So, this is the uh, case. Uh, here we have the array A with maximum size 5 number of rows and 5 number of columns, right? So, iterating variables in R and C used for indicating our row size and column size of our input in matrix. And this two variables can be used for accumulating the diagonal sum value. Okay. Now, we can enter the row and column size of the matrix that is we are going to enter next. Okay. After that, using these loops, we can read the different elements of our matrix A. Right. So, after this, we can display the elements of our matrix using the same for loops and with this print slash and statement. Right. So, after displaying this uh, matrix element in its matrix form, now we can calculate the forward diagonal sum of this given matrix okay for the same we need these loops again okay now we can copy this and we can paste here okay so we need to find the sum of diagonal elements what is the property uh, that is unique for this forward diagonal elements for the forward diagonal elements, the row index must be equal to column index. So, inside this, first of all, we can check this particular condition that is if this i index, that means the row index equal to the column index, then we can find, then, then only we need to add that sum value, that is f sum, means forward sum equal to f sum plus a of i j we have total 
R into C number of elements in this matrix. We need to consider each of these R into C elements one after another. If for a particular number, if this condition is satisfied, then only we need to find this sum. Because if this condition is satisfied, then that particular value or the matrix element comes in its diagonal. Okay, so we need to find the sum. We don't want this print statement here. So after finding uh, this sum value, we can display this value print of forward diagonal sum equal to this sum is actually an integer number and is available in f sum variable. Right? Okay, so this is the program for finding the forward diagonal sum of a given square matrix, right? Now we can execute this. So, and the row and column size of the matrix. This is displayed here. Now I am going to enter the row and column size. The matrix should be a square matrix. Then only we can find the diagonal sum. So, I am going to enter 3 as the row size and 3 as the column size. This is valid because maximum we can specify a row size as 5 and maximum as maximum for column size is 5. So uh, here I am uh, declared or uh, specify the row and column size of the matrix that is going to enter is 3 by 3. This is a valid case. Okay. So under the elements of the matrix so i'm going to enter three into three total nine numbers one two three four five six seven eight and finally the nine okay so then it execute this loop and display this matrix form of our input numbers a 3 by 3 matrix is displayed here with the values 1 to 9. After that, it displays the forward diagonal sum as 15. Is it is right answer? Check this. 1 plus 5 is 6. 6 plus 9 is 15. So, this is a right diagonal sum for the forward diagonal elements. Okay. Now, we can consider the other keys. That is... Here we have the other diagonal that is the backward diagonal. Okay. Which one is the backward diagonal? This one. Okay. This 3, 5 and this 7 comes in the backward diagonal of this particular given square matrix. And consider the indices of these backward diagonal elements. Here it is 0th row, 2nd column. First row, first column, second row, zeroth column. Okay, so zeroth row, second column, first row, first column, second row, zeroth column. Is there any property for these indices? By analyzing this, we can identify one property that is the row indices get updated by an increment value of 1. That is, 0 is incremented here. And from 1 again incremented here and get 2 here. And the uh, column indices get decremented by a value of 1. Check this. Here it is 2 and here it become 1 and here it become 0. Okay. But this property is valid for other element also. Here it is 0 and here it become 1. And here it is 1. And is decremented to 0. So, here we have some complication while comparing with this particular case. Now, we need to extract only these three elements from this. Okay. So, how it possible? Now, we can uh, consider the coding part of this particular program. Okay. For this, we need to set our row indices as 0. We need to start from the 0th row. Okay. Now we need to change the column. Okay. How to possible for. 
equal to total how many rows are possible we uh, we have the row size is given here as r and column size is given here as 3 sorry c right row size is r column size is c okay then the rows uh, numbers ranging from 0 to r minus 1 similarly column size ranging from 0 to c minus 1 so based on that we can start from j equal to c minus 1 then we need to decrement the column indices by 1 in each situation okay so we need to check if j greater than or equal to 0 then we need to decrement the j value by 1 at each situation okay now we want to find the sum backward sum equal to b sum plus a of ij right after that we need to increment this i value is it right first the i value is 0 okay and the j value is c minus 1 suppose we are going to enter the row and column sizes 3 and 3 in that case j is initialized with the value 2 the 2 is greater than or equal to 0 is the true case so transfer control directly inside this for loop and b sum equal to 0 that is an uh, initialized value of b sum is 0 0 plus a of ij means a of 0 2 the last element of our first row 0 to row okay that will add it with this b sum after that that the i value get incremented by 1 now the i become 1 so again move to the decrement part of this loop j become j minus 1 that is 2 minus 1 it become 1 is this 1 greater than or equal to 0 exactly this is a true case so comes again inside this and add previous b sum plus a of 1 1 okay after that i get incremented by 1 i become 2 then go for this decrement operation j now become 1 minus 1 that is 0 is this j greater than or equal to 0 this is again a true case so come inside and previous b sum is added with our new value that is a of 2 0 the last row first column position that means second row zeroth column position okay so added this and i now become 3 but j become minus 1 0 minus 1 is minus 1 so this condition now returns a false value so that we can skip this body right now we can display our backward sum value print of diagonal sum equal to b sum now we can check okay now i'm going to enter the same size 3 by 3 and going to enter the elements as 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 okay the matrix is displayed here in the in the matrix form after the forward diagonal sum equal to 15 and backward diagonal sum again is 15 is it right so forward diagonal is 1 plus 5 plus 9 9 plus 5 is 14 plus 1 is 15 the right answer and for the backward diagonal 3 plus 5 8 8 plus 7 is 15 both are the right answers okay so this is about the diagonal sum of a given square matrix okay thank you